welcome back. So today we're going to do a video on um, troubleshooting blue screens of death. So if you get a computer that shows this, um, which hopefully with Windows 10 doesn't actually happen as often as it did in the past, but if you get something like this, it's called the blue screen of death. Really, it's just a, a critical stop error. Um, basically, your computer crashed very hard. And typically, it's related to driver related problems so like interfacing with hardware and or maybe the hardware itself is like failing you or something like that but but um, obviously it's a very harsh crash and um, there is a way to investigate why it crashed like you can get some information typically off of this page on what happened like the stop code but it's it's generally pretty basic there are ways to go through the memory dump and actually get more information out of that memory dump, and which is what I'm going to show you guys how to do. So it's actually pretty easy to do. You just need to download the Windows Software Development Kit and then install the debugging tools. And the other step that you need to pay attention to is under your my, this PC settings here, uh, Advanced System Settings, and then under Advanced Startup and Recovery Settings. Automatic restart system failure. This automatic restart, you don't want that. That's not what I was, I didn't mean to mention that. Sorry, I, I just kind of read it. It saw, I saw that text and I just read it. So, system failure, what you want to see is automatic memory dump and you want it system root memory dump dot file. So, this will be C colon Windows if that's where your Windows file or operating system is installed. And then obviously overwrite an existing file. So, if it keeps crashing, at least it'll be the latest memory dump. So, this is the file that you want to, you want to, um, Analyze to get more information out of it. This microphone's like on my chin. Okay, so let's get started with that. So, ooh, I didn't mean to close that. We want to go and search for Windows SDK. So it's the software development kit, and you can get Windows 10. That's fine. This is actually a server OS I'm on right now. I'm gonna download the installer. It's actually a pretty small installer, which is nice because it only downloads the files that's necessary for the options that you check during the installation. So it's not like you got to download some massive 10 gigabyte file and then you only use 100 megs out of it. So we're only going to use a small amount. So I'm going to go ahead and say, go ahead and put that anywhere. You can send anonymous text but really, or anonymous messages. But really what I want to pay attention to is the features, right? I just want debugging tools. So I'm going to check all of these because I'm not doing any development. So debugging tools is all I'm looking for, and it is uh, 500 megs, which is pretty wild. So um, just as word of advice, if you've got a system that's crashing, you don't have to install the debugging tools on that system. You can install them on something else and then copy that memory dump file over and, and do the uh, analysis at, on a different system. So it's not like you have to install this every time a computer starts blue screening. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. It shouldn't take too long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it while it's doing that. Okay, so it is a finished installing, which actually it was pretty fast, maybe under a minute or something like that. Okay, so now that I've got the SDK installed, software development kit, you can see it did some recent ads. And really what we want is this one right here, this WinDebug, but it's also under Windows Kits. And if you scroll to the bottom, it's WinDebug X64 is the one I'm going to use, the 64-bit version of it. And um, what the next thing I want to do is find that memory dump file. So I wanna f I'm going to go to the C drive. I'm going to go to Windows. And there happens to be one on this computer. And you can see it's right here, memory dump file. So I'm going to go ahead and take this file, copy it to my desktop. You can move or copy. It doesn't really matter, actually. So I'm going to move it. Wait, it's a little faster. And now I've got the memory dump on my desktop. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up WinDebug X64. Let's maximize that guy. And then we want to go to File, Open Crash Dump. And you'll go to your desktop. You open the memory file here that we just moved over or copied from a different location. Go ahead and hit open on that. And it's going to do some initial analysis on that file. Give it a second as it runs through some things. <coughs> and so there. So now that it did, it's like some initial stuff there, right? And the next thing you can do is you can click this run analyze dash V, which dash V typically means verbose, which means it's going to provide more information. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and it's going to run through and hopefully pull some more information out of this file on exactly what caused this particular blue screen of death. And um, it dumped out a few things here, right? So really what it is, is if you look through these debugging details, the things that I typically look for are um, the failure bucket, so I want to see something in there. And then also the image name. That's important to me because this is the driver file that's actually causing the crash. So vnet wfp.sys and then failure bucket, like what happened possibly with that driver. So if you take this and you say, hey, man, I'm getting blue screens of death with that particular file. Now you go to Google and you search for this file and it comes back and it's talking about it's a VMware 
NSX network introspection driver. So this is interesting because this crash actually came from a VM, right? And so the VM has a driver on there, part of the VMware tools that's causing the crash. And so what you're going to want to do, the next steps might be to remove that. Depends on your environment. I mean, obviously, you can't just start deleting drivers that you necessarily need. So um, you need to investigate what this driver relates to, like if it's a video card or something like that. Maybe just updating the driver will fix it. Or maybe your video card's getting too hot or something like that or related to those type of problems. So anyhow, um, that's going to be it for this video. hope you guys enjoyed. And um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.